How to build the storage RAID from the text-based interface on a MaxPro NVR PE Rev B. Start by booting the NVR and pressing Tab or F6 when prompted during the boot sequence. Once booted directly to the RAID user interface, select the single adapter that appears in the window. This is the RAID controller. When the main menu appears, you can click on any of the menu options to view the sub-menu of settings. Scroll down to view system information about the controller card you are connected to, for instance. Clicking any of these main menu options for the first time will require you to enter the password, which is 0000. To build a RAID from this interface, from the main menu, select RAID Set Functions and then click Create RAID Set. Highlight and press Enter on all of the drives you wish to assign to this RAID set. They should be marked with an asterisk if selected. Once all the drives are selected, press Escape. Confirm you want to create the RAID set and press Enter to keep the name label default then press enter again to keep the RAID set mode set to the default 128 volumes. Once this is complete, return to the main menu and select volume set functions. Click create volume set, select the RAID set we just created, and on the volume creation page, leave everything at default. The one option you might change here is the RAID level. The default on all Max Pro NVRPE units is 5, but RAID level 6 is also supported. RAID 5 allows for maximum storage in your RAID, but only allows for one drive to fail and still maintain data integrity. RAID 6 will result in less overall storage, but two drives can fail and you will still maintain data integrity. Once the selections are made, press Escape and choose either background or foreground initialization. Foreground is faster, but you will have to wait until the RAID is completely built before being able to use it. Background will allow you to start initialization and begin using the storage immediately and is the recommended method. Once the selection is made, you should see the progress at the bottom of the screen. If you chose background initialization, press F10 to reboot the NVR to Windows and proceed with creating a usable drive from the new storage RAID. From the Start menu, type Disk Management and then click the option that pops up for Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Immediately, you will be prompted to initialize the disk for MBR or GPT. You'll need to keep it set to GPT and then click OK. Now you should see an unallocated disk. Right-click anywhere in this box and click New Simple Volume. Click Next to use the full storage amount, choose a drive letter, and assign it a label. We recommend Video Storage as the label for easy recognition. Then click Next and Finish. This will format the volume and assign it a drive letter. The drive is now ready to be added as a recording drive in Max Pro NVR. Explore our trainings and discover your potential. Go to HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com.